We live? What's up, everyone? Welcome. To my first ever playthrough of Undertale. Hey, Jake. Uh, I am actually... I am almost entirely in the dark about this game, to be honest. I, I, I know how, like, impossible that sounds, um, but the only thing I know about this game is that one game theory where Sans is supposedly Ness. I, I remained completely in the dark. In fact, I only just found out last stream, I think, when I was talking about possibly playing this game. Hey, there he is. Um, a gamer was the one that told me that this isn't a JRPG. <laughs> or not a, not a JRPG, just an RPG. Uh, apparently, it's like there's like a bullet shooter mechanic or something. I thought it was like turn-based combat. Um, so I was completely unaware of what kind of game this was. Um, so I was definitely, I was, I've been super in the dark about it. Uh, I've always kind of, not intentionally, I suppose, but kind of not been too big into a lot of indie games, so I really just didn't like, pay much attention to this, uh, game when it came out, and obviously it became a huge sensation, and then I felt like I was already late to the, um, late to the train, so I was like, eh, I'll pass. But, finally decided, maybe now we should finally, uh... Give it a shot. Hey, guy. Final Fighter. Gamer, by the way. RD. Star Killer. Rasher. Hey, what's up, man? Taku. I see this is definitely bringing a lot of people out. Yeah, I did receive this game from Jade. So now we're finally playing it. I remember a few years ago thinking you'd really enjoy it. Yeah, I mean, I gotta start remembering to... Or start to just listen to some of the chat recommendations for games, because I also refused to play Persona 5 for, like, several years, because I was like, I wouldn't like weave games, and then that game, like, course-corrected my entire life, so... <laughs> for better or worse. Also, I'm gonna have to figure it out for next stream. I didn't realize the resolution on this game is so small um because i'm playing on pc so the game is just like a tiny little window and you're, my only option is to full screen it which i can't do because i have an ultra wide monitor which would make the the stream look very weird to you guys so i just put up a picture of sans <laughs> and called it a day i'll figure it out maybe next stream or something if i don't beat it today nope i can't press f11 as that'll full screen it won't it Right? That's gonna, like, break the stream. Hey, AK. What's up, man? I give people... A, since a lot of people seem to be pouring in, we'll give people a couple more minutes to join. I, uh, hope people like the thumbnail <laughs> for today's stream, too. It wasn't a particularly hard one to make, but I was pretty proud of the bad Photoshop I did around my eye. <laughs> I could have made it look better, but, like, um, I don't know. I kind of like how it ended up. Like, I could have messed around with it a little bit more, um, but I decided not to. I just let, I, it's, I was like, there's, like, two or three more steps I needed to do in Photoshop to, like, make it more seamless, but I was like, you know what? I actually like this. Like, the fire edit on my eye. Do I know anything about this game? Nope. I was just talking about how last stream was the first time I realized this wasn't like a turn-based game. Um, so I know nothing about it. My, the extent of my knowledge of this game is that one game theory video where Sans is Ness. I played about an hour of this game. 
and you haven't touched it since. That doesn't bode well. I plan on playing it for more than that. Whoa, Gaster. Hey, welcome to the stream, man, but please don't spoil anything. Please don't, please don't spoil. I just want to, I want to experience everything blind. That's the kind of run I'm going for. I just want to experience it. Welcome to the stream, though, man. Feel free to, uh, be a part of the journey. No, 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 don't apologize. Don't worry about it, man. You don't have to apologize. I appreciate the explanations. Um, you can, uh, when I ask questions, I'd appreciate it if you wanted to hang out and, like, answer some of the stuff if you're very knowledgeable about the game. Because believe me, I'll start asking questions as soon as the game starts. Or you can elaborate on things as they happen. I was just getting nervous that you were going <laughs> to, like, explain the different story beats or something. begin the game. Oh, yeah, I'm just doing a little bit of stream preamble here. Wait for the uh, um, notification squad to show up. You know what it means? What route are you doing? Well, I only just learned there were routes to the game. <laughs> Literally a couple seconds ago when you mentioned there were routes. So, I did not have a route in mind. I was just gonna play the game and see what happens. So I guess that would be, according to the ones you listed, I guess that would be neutral. This is one of the last PS Vita games. I feel like with this, I with this game, I might have played every big Vita game on my channel. <laughs> Inadvertently, I have become a PlayStation Vita streamer. Um, we have... I played all the Danganronpa games. I played the Danganronpa uh, PS Vita exclusive. Uh, well, it was exclusive for a while. Um, we played Persona 4 Golden. This game. That's funny. Just get to the game? Yeah, we'll, I'll get to the game in just a second. The, um... The stream notification doesn't always immediately go out. I usually give people a couple minutes to join. I'm about to start, though. Is the music too loud? That was, like, the last thing I wanted to check before we really got rolling here. Because the music feels loud. Um, but there's no way to adjust the game volume, so I would have to, like, adjust my stream settings. Music does seem to... Hey, what's up, Alpha? Uh, let me... I'll turn down the audio a little bit then. Oh, too much. Oh, fuck. How's that? I tweaked it just a little bit. That is Sans from Undertale in the thumbnail. That is him. Alright, before Gester has a um, meltdown here, I will... Let's get started. Name the fallen human. I assume that's me. Oh, I can't actually type using my keyboard. I gotta do this. Okay, in the game... Do characters' names have proper capitalization, or are they are characters' names written in all caps? Because um, I'm worried that it'll bug me if I write my name as normal capitalization, and then every other character is in all caps or all lowercase. I want mine to fit in normally. Just go with what you feel is right. This is a thing that's important. <laughs> I thought that was just a backhanded comment where I was like, yeah, well. Okay. Hey, what's up, Raids, by the way? Um, sure. Is this correct? That is my name. Or should I do Cubai? Yeah, I'll just go with my name. There's name Easter eggs, but not important. Okay. Hmm. 
has the game started? I thought like a cutscene was about to happen. How do I move? Okay, just up and down. It's actually not even WASD. Can you spoil something? Uh, please don't. I would very much hope for you to not spoil anything. Yeah, WASD, it doesn't do anything for me currently. So, are there like controls? Uh-oh. How do I back out of the, the menu? <laughs> uh, um, what are the... What are the controls? All right, whatever. Let's just, I guess maybe there's a tutorial. Maybe the game will explain. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Is it Flowey? Flowey the flower. The music still feels super loud, right? Hmm. You are new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be conf All right, what kind of voice should I give him? Golly, you must be so confused. Just because he said golly, I'm going to give him a country voice. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> give him, like, childish nerd vibes. Whoops. See that heart? That's your soul, the very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but you can grow strong if you gain a lot of levels. Oh, whoops. Never mind, I thought it would stand for level. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. You want some love, don't you? No. Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through little, little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around. Get as many as you can. Oh. You idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Die. <laughs> okay. Also, what's up, Flip Flip, by the way, if I didn't say hey when you uh, joined the stream? What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Why do I have sands above you? I don't know. <laughs> it's either that or black screen. Is it distracting? Should I get rid of the sands above me? I just kind of thought it was funny. Do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. Because this is what it looks like without sands. Like, it just feels like there's too much void if he's not there. You were the first human to come here in a long time. A live sands reaction. Sans is the one playing, so that way when I die in the first couple of fights, I can blame him. Come. I will guide you through the catacombs. This way.
This game feels like it should be played on my Game Boy Advance. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. Wait, why would I be filled with determination? In the Xbox, there's an official border frame thingy, so it probably exists online as a PNG. Oh, I could look for that. If someone could drop it in the Discord, I can switch the uh, stream to that. Have you at least heard some of the music? I actually, the only song I have heard from this game is the Megalo uh, Megalomania. <laughs> like the meme song. That's the only song I know from this game. Um, but other than that, I don't know any of the others. Good luck on your new adventure. Thank you. Not a bad comparison. This game was heavily influenced by Mother 3. Do you mean... Earthbound? This guy made an Earthbound mod. Oh, did, was this originally supposed to be an Earthbound mod? There's a 100% chance you won't hear that song in this playthrough. Why? It's pretty fire. Toby made an Earthbound Halloween hack. Oh. Do, do, do. Earth determination is a core theme of Undertale. What if I'm not determined though? He made a Pokemon track. I assume Toby's the developer then, yeah. Because he couldn't use Megalomania. Oh, Megalovania is a pun. Nice soundtrack. It is pretty nice. Um. This is very relaxing music so far. Did he make all of it? Toby Fox started with an Earthbound mod and later planned and made Undertale, but it's influenced by things like Mother, Tohu, and Mario Luigi. Oh, cool. He composes music for Pokemon? Oh, that's pretty sweet. He made Penny's theme in Scarlet and Violet. Cool. So he's a big music guy. That makes sense, I suppose. A lot of the artistic folks are usually well-versed in being able to draw stuff and uh, make games and things like that. Nice. HP has been fully restored. I'll warn you now, Toby and his works are so well known that there's an infinite number of fun facts for people to tell you while you play. Yeah, as long as um, I don't get spoiled, that's fine. I'm always happy to learn like fun facts and stuff. Let's continue. I will warn you now, Gaster, there's going to be a lot of part- <laughs> Much like Alpha just warned, uh, warned me. I will warn you, if you're new to this channel, but welcome, by the way, I do a lot of dilly-dallying in games. Games that would normally take people, um, a few minutes will take me a long time. Sent them on Discord? Wait, where in Discord? Undertale can be like a good six hours. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. Um, we're gonna take more than six hours, I would bet. Um, because I like to really take my time while playing games. Because I, I also, the big thing for me while playing through games like this, as I'm sure many of you know, um, is that I, uh, I really, the big thing that I enjoy during this is talking with chat. Um, that's usually my favorite thing. 
to do with these streams, and so I'll sometimes stop playing the game if, uh, if there's an interesting conversation happening in chat. Um... Who- you keep saying Frisk. Who is Frisk? Like, Wilson Frisk? That's actually not his name, but you get what I mean. Okay, so these are the border images. For the game? Alright, hang on. Let's put this on the top layer real quick. Uh, let's take a look. Which of these borders we should use? Oh, hang on. We're gonna do some live stream editing because I didn't realize this game was. I didn't even realize this game was like 4x3. Like, not HD or widescreen, so. Okay. Which of these boards should we go with? Or borders should we go with? I'm really liking that purple one in the upper left. What do you guys think? That first one? Okay. Thank you, Flip Flip. We're doing some live stream customization. say it is gonna bug me a little bit that the border isn't like okay all right hang on we're getting we're almost there we're almost there 30 minutes into stream an improvement to the, uh, the sands just sitting above me. Um... Uh... Yeah, the only character name I know, uh, now that I'm done customizing the stream, let me look at chat again. The only, uh, character names that I know is now this lady. I know she's Toriel. I know the flower is flowy. I know Sans is because of his iconic meme thing. Um, but I don't know any of the other characters. Like I said, I've surprisingly remained very spoiler-free on this entire game. Um, just because I never really bothered to look too in-depth on it. But yeah, best to put out like a disclaimer in the stream that this is the first time playing and you'll know nothing about it. Okay, I can do that. Uh, let's do that. Hang on. I hate this fucking stupid heart thing that doesn't let me, like, select messages. There we go. Boop. You should be straightforward so you shouldn't get lost. I'm sure I will get, uh... 
I'm sure I will get several of are severely lost. The game the fans are in this game for Markiplier. Oh, do they like spoil him or something? Yeah, I'm fine if you're very passionate um, about the game. That's totally fine. Like, uh, if you people want to be very passionate about the games, get super involved, elaborate on what's happening while it happens, that's totally fine. If something has happened in my playthrough so far, it's totally fair game to talk about and go in-depth about and chat about, all that stuff. But just please don't spoil things for me that haven't happened. That's all I ask. I'm always excited when people are very passionate about the, the games that I play on stream, so I can talk with you guys about them. Because what uh, for those of you who are new, hey, what's up, Clover the Human? Welcome. Um, once I um, like get to some moments, you'll definitely see where I will definitely <laughs> share my thoughts about what's happening in the game. But let's get there when we get there. I am a big chatter. I'm definitely not one of those streamers that just sits and plays the game. I like to talk. I like to talk quite a bit. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. But well, I want to go home. What is she talking about? Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles. Uh-oh. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the side of room. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. How would I have known how to solve this puzzle, though? Like, it doesn't seem like there's a clue or anything anywhere. Feel free to subscribe, by the way. I'll do my usual YouTuber plug here for any new viewers of the stream. What's he done so far? I have... Entered... The ruins. <laughs> We're just starting. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry. I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Oh, get it? Flip, flip, flip. Is this your name? Tutorial is in tutorial. Ah! Uh... <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Press Z to read signs. I did not do that. Press Z to read signs. I pressed enter to read signs. Stay on the path. I refuse. I feel like it's saying stay on the path. Um, because there's something to do off of the path. The first switch is over on the wall. Can I just go home? No, I guess not. Oh, you can't hit the switch again. Go on, press the switch on the left. Hehe. <laughs> no, no. You want to press the other switch. I even labeled it for you. Okay. Did you see the intro for the game? No, I didn't. Was there something important for the intro? I usually don't uh, watch intros to games because I don't want to get spoiled. <laughs> That's how spoil averse I am on games. Hey, 12 hours. Welcome, man. Hmm. Splendid. 
I am proud of you, little one. You do need to watch the intro for this game? Huh? Let's move to the next room. Uh, well, I didn't, so can someone recap the intro for me? As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. It's very important lore. That's true. Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. Human represent! They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later... Mr. Ebot... Or no, Mount Ebot... <laughs> Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. I hate Mr. Eba. Oh my god, no. So yeah, so for reference, this is how fucking small the screen is on my computer right now. I see all the, uh... I feel like I could've just been told that. That, I, that intro feels like it could've been an, in <laughs> an email. Guys. Humans and monsters fought. Humans won. We fell in hole. Where the monsters are. Why don't we just wipe them all out? Why did we put them in a hole? Isn't that gonna just come back and bite them? Seems dangerous. Okay, anyway. Um, you will need to be prepared for the situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, Strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Do you need some ideas for conversation topics? No, I... Believe me, watch one of my fucking 10-hour Persona streams. I can talk, or I can talk non-stop for several hours. I often start with a simple how do you do. You could ask them about their favorite books. Jokes can be useful for breaking the ice. Listen to this one. What did the skeleton tile his roof with? Shingles. Well, I thought it was amusing. You can say anything. The dummy will not be bothered. I'm just talking to the dummy. You encountered the dummy. Uh... What are the controls, though?
Demi looks like it's going to fall over. What? What are the buttons? Dummies are not for fighting, they're for talking. You do not want to hurt anyone. Come now. I don't know what I did. What? Well, okay, what are the button controls? What? Why is it so hard to figure out what does what? You killed the dummy. Is that bad? Z is confirmed, X is cancelled. Okay. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Well, hopefully it's not another fight, because I don't know how to fucking do it. Everything you do is fine in this game. We can tell you everything once you're done with the game. But did killing the dummy lock me out of these one of these routes? Frog it. Oh, okay, so now the arrow keys work, so I guess the tutorial thing you just... Okay. Um, in battle you can do things like act and use items, act is like talking. Okay, so how come the act thing wasn't an option against the dummy? Also, what's up, Gado? By the way, I totally forgot if I welcome you to the stream or not. Welcome, everyone, who's new, who has arrived to the stream as I've been in the middle of this tutorial. Feel free to subscribe. I'll be playing this game probably all weekend. I guess I'll probably try to do some of the routes if they're not too hard to get. Check. Life is difficult for this enemy. thing is an SMT reference? I guess it kind of is, because you have to do demon negotiations. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. This is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. was inspired by SMT negotiations. Dude, I fucking can't escape Persona and SMT. Every game I play. <laughs> Every game I play. It's my life. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. No need. Thanks. I guess we just... Nah, I didn't need to do that. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Why, why the music is so intense that she was like, you're on your own? I keep feeling like I need to see if I can climb up those vines. Oh, 
Oh, is this just an infinite hallway? Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind the pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. What are you testing my independence for? I, clearly I was independent before I fell down here. That's what led me to fall down here. In fact, I probably should not be left alone, unsupervised. Clearly. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to go alone. I have an idea. I'll give you a cell phone. Why do you have one? If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, all right? Okay, so I assume in a game like this, if your choices matter, I should wait for her, right? I want my tutorial bot to come back to me. It goes without saying, but Toriel is a bit of a parody of the overbearing tutorial NPCs. That's kind of the vibe I was picking up. The, uh, like the ancient, um, tutorial bots that just kind of, like, when, before, like, modern day games usually have tutorials just be menus, like, while you're doing stuff, like, there'll be a pop-up that's like, hey, um, press this to do this. Like, definitely the older generation of games. Basically, that kind of felt like that stopped around the Xbox 360, PS3 era, where tutorials started to become more naturally integrated into gameplay. Um, definitely these earlier games used to, like, have characters dedicated to following you around and being like, press A to start. Remember, like, games used to have voice lines for that shit, where, like, someone in the game would literally talk to you and be like, when games were first starting to become a little bit more mainstream, there would be a character that would literally be like, press the B button to jump. Or, well, punch, usually. Like, I can think of, remember the Spider-Man movie games? There was even, um, like, uh, Bruce Campbell was literally, like, the narrator, and he would voice a tutorial for you. They had him, like, he had a cameo in the video games. And he would be like, press the rest, the right trigger to swing a web. Come on, Spider-Man, show him what you can do. Or if you stick to the walls, he would be like, walk up to the wall and press Y button. They don't- that doesn't happen anymore. No characters, like, have voice lines specifically stating button presses and stuff. Nowadays, you'll get, like, a fucking JPEG that'll show up on screen and be like, Alright, you should, um... To do this, you need to do these button prompts and ba 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 You're gonna be waiting a while? No, sorry, I was right. There is an Easter egg for just waiting here. How, what's the, <laughs> how long do we have to wait here? Cause I will. The game might even reward you for silly ideas. That's fine. I like to be a little silly, a little goofy. That's my motto here on this channel. Five minutes, I think. Oh, dude, easy. I fucking talked about video games saying buttons for like seven, at least. You could try the cell phone she gave you. Uh, yeah, I've probably been talking for five minutes, yeah? I don't want to interrupt my waiting process. I also want my hand to be held. I want to be tutorialized. 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 What'd you name your character? Sam? Yeah. Just went with my name. <gasps> I'm getting a phone call. Hello, this is Toriel. My errands are taking longer than I thought they would. You must wait five more minutes. Thank you for being patient. Click. Easy. Light work. Yeah, but I almost named myself Cubai, but I think ultimately, based on what you guys are saying, 
um, it probably wouldn't have made a difference. Those are the two things I would have named my my character. Either just my name, Sam, or the channel name, Cubai. Um, but I always wonder if I should go back to my normal like username um, for the YouTube channel. Like, I don't do people care honestly? Because I my old username for stuff used to be Carmel Chewy before I like randomly changed it to Cubai Studios for a long time. And then I thought the studios thing was cringe, so I just became Cubai. Um, but that's also cringe, so I don't know. Maybe it's fine to just keep it Cubai, it's short and simple. But people always mispronounce my name, so it probably would be better to go back to Carmel Chewy, maybe. But I've been Cubai for long enough. Uh, the game is chock full of this stuff. Oh, like little Easter eggs and stuff like this? That's pretty cool. I can see why it became an internet sensation then if it's got all kinds of like uh, little e e uh, Easter eggs and things like that. Caramel Chewy is a cute name. Well, it's supposed to be like the candy. But I also intentionally misspell it so that people will say caramel, not caramel. Because I'm in the Midwest, so I say caramel when referring to the sticky sweets. Um... I did see that. If you use the, um, the canon name, you get wrecked. Hey, Ty. What's up, man? Welcome to the stream. While we're waiting, of course, for Toriel to return to us, I will remind everyone to please subscribe so you can miss, not miss out on a single stream of my Undertale playthrough. I think two words in a row sticks better in people's heads, kind of like sing-songy. Should we vote? on the fate of my channel. Should it still be Cubai, or should I switch to Caramel Chewy? Because that's always been, like, my name. Um. Some of the random events are RNG. Oh, that kind of sucks. I hate RNG. <laughs> so, yeah, you're right. If it's RNG, I'll miss most of the random events because I'm just that unlucky. Um. Easter eggs in the game that you can only get if your save file rolled for a very specific number when you create the save. Oh, so it is literally RNG. But I feel like I've branded as Cubai for so long that um, if I switch to Caramel Chewy, people would be like looking through their subscription feed and be like, who's that? Unsub. As you can see, I'm very desperate for subs, which is why I keep uh, reminding everyone to subscribe and like the stream! Uh... <gasps> We're getting a phone call. Hello! Hi, this is Toriel. I found what I was looking for. But before I could take it, a small white puppy snatched it away. How odd. Do dogs even like flour? That, that is an unrelated question, of course. Take a little longer. Please understand. Click. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna be very patient. When the tutorial has been so kind as to show me around the underground, help me solve puzzles, let me bypass some of the uh, tricks and stuff. Why not? Let, you know, I think we should wait patiently wouldn't want to get lost exploring by myself. That's risky. Um, if we do that, while, look at where we ended up by wandering around on our own in the first place. Down in the underground already. So I feel like we should learn our lesson, not go wandering off by ourselves, and stay where we're supposed to be. <gasps> I would not doubt your luck to accidentally discover the rarest events in the game. Maybe. It's a, it's definitely a coin flip. My luck is only on the sides of extremes. Very unlucky or very lucky. It's like my natural ability. You're partial to Cubai. Okay. It's definitely a type of game where you look on Easter eggs later. I think it would be fun to do a reaction stream to like all the different theories and stuff, because I feel like this game is pretty chock full of like fan theories and things like that. Or maybe if these streams do well enough, 
uh, viewership wise, and if I get enough subscribers from playing Face Undertale, maybe I'll check out some of the fan games as well. Um, or Deltarune. Two after. Not to, not gonna make any promises, but if this if the streams do numbers, I mean I can't. There's no reason for me to stop playing. But I was also kind of interested in uh, checking out that Princess Peach game. So, little here nor there. I think you can finish Undertale in one stream. Well, based on me just fucking around. <laughs> I probably can't finish Undertale in one stream. Oh, am I supposed to try out my, uh, my phone? Fine. I guess we can finally do that, though I can still keep talking. Let it not be known that I can just keep talking. Um, there are two fan games of Undertale that are sought after. Yeah, I've heard of Undertale Yellow a couple times. I haven't heard of that Underswap thing. Alright, what's on my cell phone? Say hello about yourself. Call her mom. Learn. What? Who is this to? Toriel? All I did was hit hello or hit sell. What should I do here? Did these mean anything? Um, I mean, I'm inclined to flirt, but I also feel like calling her mommy would be fun too. Do them all? Oh, okay, so it doesn't matter. Then. Hello, this is Toriel. You only want to say hello. Well then. Hello. I hope that suffices. Hey. Click. Let's talk about myself. This is Toriel. You want to know more about me? Well, I'm afraid there's not much to say. I'm just a silly little lady who worries too much. Click. Can't ask her about her anymore. Mommy? I'm sorry. Mom? I'm sorry. Mommy? I am. Toriel? Huh? Did you just call me Mom? Well, I suppose. Would that make you happy? To call me Mother? Three? Well then. Call me whatever you like. Like. Mm, not in the fun kind of way. Flirt. Huh? Oh. <laughs> ha. How adorable. I can pinch your cheek. You can certainly find better than an old woman like me. Oh dear. Are you serious? And after you said you want to call me mother. <laughs> You're in interesting child that's funny Ugh. okay Toby knew <laughs> let me try it again nah it's not an option I can't flirt anymore I would still keep trying if the game let me. I was actually just about to ask if there were romance like routes in the game, but apparently not because um, we're already done talking with her. I was hoping. There are dates. Oh, there are. There is romance. There are plenty of romances in the game. Oh, interesting. Ring. You hear heavy panting on the other end of the phone. Bark, bark. Bark, bark. You hear a distant voice. Stop, please. Come back here with my cell phone. Click. Why don't we disobey mommy? Because I am a good boy, Francisco. And I want to be called as such. 
so I must wait. There's also canonical lesbians. Nice. That's all the waiting dialogue. Oh, she doesn't actually come back. Somewhere, signals deflected by the dog. Alright, I guess... I guess, chat. We can use your naughty influence. But when Mother is mad at us... Um... I know who's to blame. It's not me. I was going to be a good boy. Toriel fighting for her life against that dog. Eh, it's just taking her phone. It's not a big deal. She'll be fine. You've never seen that one happen before? Welcome to my playthrough. We're going to experience all kinds of new things together, Jen. Ring. Hello. Mrs. Toriel. My apologies. A strange dog kidnapped my phone. So if you called, I could not have helped you. However, I have recovered it. And you're still in that room, are you not? What a good child you are. There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try and solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Look. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm still in the room. Salutations. Okay. Do we, so we should actually just keep rolling, right? Life is difficult for this enemy. Okay. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. Check just shows their stats, but the stats it shows aren't accurate to the game. So <laughs> what's the point then? Hey Devin, welcome to the stream, man. You wanna be my alter ego? What does that mean? Um, here's the question. Do you want to figure out routes on your own, or do you want the best possible one on your current playthrough? What does that mean? Have I already locked in a playthrough? Or have I already locked in an ending? Or locked myself out of different endings already? I don't know. What uh, what would be the best way to do it? Just do what I do? Just play how I play? Um, if this has been impossible to avoid topic, let's get to it then. What would be the best way to do it? We'll say one route is impossible to get without help or a guide. Just play naturally. I think it's best for you to play how you want. 70 plus endings. It's possible to get all content in one playthrough. Alright, let's just run it then. Oh, can you get, like, random battles? Yeah, we'll just do whatever I want then. Like just walking around, like, not even on specific tiles. It says take one. Take a piece of candy? I would love a piece of candy. Thanks. It said take one, though. I mean, I'm not crazy. I'm not an insane person. Wisdom. Instead of fleeing, instead of mercy, is actually the speedrun strat. Nice. If you flee, you can't gain gold. Do I need gold? The game will direct you to the best ending. When the spare button is yellow, you spare them. 
So what's the difference between spare and just running away? Spare gives you gold, but I just earned zero XP and zero gold. I got nothing for sparing. I don't know, boys. It sounds like sparing things sucks. Ring, ring. Hello? This is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Once you unequip the bandage, you can no longer run away. I have a bandage equipped. Because that one enemy sucks. So of course the yeah, sure, Chad. Cope. Cope that you were wrong. Sparing does nothing. Uh, what are you guys feeling? I I think I like cinnamon a bit more than butterscotch, if I'm gonna be quite honest with you. I think I, I think I'm a cinnamon kind of guy. I like cinnamon rolls. Um I don't really go out of my way to eat butterscotch all that much, and cinnamon kind of goes with everything, so. Um, I got a question. The SMT5 DLC is called Vengeance. What are we getting vengeance for? Vengeance for the game wasting my fucking time. Uh, when I played through it the first time. Vengeance for making me get a whole other game to get a good story. Vengeance for all of the mockery I received from SMT fans telling me, wow, SMT doesn't get re-releases like Persona games until Atlas went, huh, we would like SMT to make as much as Persona. Boom. Anyway, get right. He's automatically sparable because he's a scaredy cat, but he also gives no gold. Just like chat. That's just kidding. I'm just kidding. Final Fighter uh, donated the <laughs> last stream. <laughs> he gave me $10 for beating SMT5 on stream and getting the true ending, by the way. I beat Shiva. You're welcome, chat. You had to watch me fucking rule through the super boss. Alright, anyway. Cinnamon. Thank you very much. Click. Ring, ring. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if I found you or if you found it on your plate? Right, right. I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Wait, but I didn't. I didn't even get to say anything. I mean, no, I wouldn't turn up my nose at butterscotch. I would take it. I enjoy butterscotch, but I prefer cinnamon. SMT5 sleeping emoji. <laughs> yeah, very true. I'm hoping Vengeance is good. But, I mean, Vengeance has a lot of hot ladies that I can side with, so I'm certain. I'm sure Vengeance will be great. There's lore for every monster. Oh, nice. Hey, Andre! Is that is that how you say your name? Andre, because you have a little accent on Andres. Andres, welcome to the stream, man. Is she asking about your preferences? Um, yeah, I think so. I mean, we were just flirting a little bit ago, so I think she wants to kind of know my preferences, you know what I mean? What are QBI? What are, like, my preferences? I mean, that depends. You can ask me anything on stream. I'll answer my preferences to whatever questions you guys have. But I need to know what you guys are asking. I can't just start listing off preferences. Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. <laughs> I like, um, I met, has anyone done that meme already when you spare someone? It's like that, uh, TikTok of the guy being like, your sins have been forgiven or whatever. <laughs> That's me. The check button will tell you stuff about the monster. But I was told that that stuff is a lie. 
Fliplip said it's not their real stats. Please don't step on the leaves. What? I got I have to fight a monster? But I was very polite. I didn't step on their leaves at all. Ribbit, ribbit, croak, croak. Okay, so this is the game. It's like a little boop boop boop. Froggit doesn't seem to know why it's here. I also don't know why it's here. Ow. The battlefield is filled with the smell of mustard seed. What does that mean? I just leave goodbye. <laughs> Barry, you need to act. What does that mean? didn't understand what she said, but was flattered. Blushes deeply. Ah. Yeah, I can sense I'm gonna really struggle with combat later. the vibes that we're gonna be in trouble. Froggit seems reluctant to fight you. Well, that's good. Hmm. I will say I'm not a fan of, um... The constant random encounters. You can always heal, but with what? Hey, the Mr. As. Um, I don't know what you just said. Save points heal you? Yeah, but I can't just like summon the save points, you know what I mean? get good. I don't know, I've never been good at these like bullet hell games. Also, is there like any rhyme or reason to how I should navigate this? There's gotta be a, like some trick to getting around this fucking like puzzle, right? Never gonna remember that pattern though. Uh... Hmm. 
Stop! Go away! Is there like a repel in this game? Like when enemies start showing up? Like too often? And I douse them with a repel? Because the enemies are showing up too often. You can push me around. Hmm? You're asking me to move over? Gotta love random encounters. I don't love random encounters. I hate random encounters. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I think they're appearing more often because you're running. What does that mean? I'm just pressing the arrow keys, huh? Okay. Just for you, puppy. You want me to move some more? Alrighty. How's this? That was the wrong direction? Okay. I think I got it. Okay, thank you. You wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Okay, goodbye. Yeah, he thought he was going to be fucking cute and clever. By being annoying there, I'd go back and talk to him. The cheese is stuck to the table. Okay. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. Yeah, where is the mouse? Okay, I thought if I kept doing that, it would eventually get the cheese. This one became a meme back in the day. Will the mouse show up? Like, if I wait here long enough? Oh, wait. Do I hear it? Hello, mouse. Everything gives you determination because you are a determined guy. That's not true. I will immediately fold. Have they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force? No. I shall. Oh. I was going to say step around. Looks like there's plenty of room for me to step around, but I guess not. Alright. It's fighting time then. Here comes Navsta Look. Hello. Attack 10, Defense 10. This monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm funny. He's wishing they weren't there. Uh... I'm going to be annoying. Okay. Really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. Hey, they look better. I'm gonna tell a little joke. Heh. Yeah. 
cheering seems to improve their mood. Well, that's what they call me. The mood cheering up for guy. I'm fine, thanks. What? I offered you kindness and you spat in my face! Hey! Name isn't yellow yet. The name must be yellow. What does that mean? Where can I see the name yellow? Let me try. I call it Dapper Bloke. He uh, eagerly awaits my response. I think you look very dapper. Oh no. I usually come to the ruins because I don't know what just happened. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met someone nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Was I, the name was I didn't see the name be yellow though. Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Save? Okay. After my epic tutorial battle. Do the save points not give free heals? Oh, they do. Okay. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale. Come eat food made by spiders for spiders. And talk to these guys? What happens if I talk to them? Ribbit. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right. Pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. I got you, bro. Ribbit, ribbit. I heard using F4 to make you have a full screen. But what does F4 stand for? Fantastic 4! see a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. Ripped. Reread that sign? I would like to talk with you. Hiya! I got the gold. Anyway, what was what's up with the sign? Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down and to the right. Come eat food made by spiders for spiders of spiders. I don't get it. Like because it's is it, it it's because it's spiders. Some spiders gave me a donut! Huge. Is the donut made of spiders? Like little little sprinkles on the donut? If if uh, spiders were sprinkles on the donut, would you still eat it? But like there was a lot of frosting to kind of... To kind of... Mellow it out. Yeah? You wouldn't need it? Okay. I feel like I'd try a bite. Ribbit, ribbit. I've heard you're quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now 
A monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? Very helpful. It's bad. Very helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. Ring ring. Hello? I just realized that it's been a while since I cleaned up. I was not expecting that company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying around here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You'll want to leave room in your pockets for that. Hmm. A lot of someday's being mentioned here. Hey, Hunchy, welcome to the stream. I've also heard Undertale is good. That's why I'm playing. Why does this thing look like every creepypasta monster I've ever seen in my life? I'm gonna not pick on it. Finally, someone gets me. Well, why are you attacking me if I get you? Mike Wazowski. It looks like horror Mike Wazowski, yeah. Wanna know something funny? I love funny things, Godot. Might go to the top left corner of the room and press Z. Something happened. I feel like Froggit is dangerously close to a bad word. Where? Enemy Eyewalker is his full name. Making his full name Luke's Skywalker? Oh, I get it. A Star Trek reference. There's an ant-sized frog and a crack in the wall. It waves it here. That's funny. Forget about it. Where is... Uh, should we play uh, Frogger? That would be fun. Like the snail in Adventure Time? Adventure Time was after my time as a child. I never watched Adventure Time. So I don't know the snail that you speak of. There is just one switch. Okay. Ugh. Don't slow me down, for real, for real. Stop. <laughs> Every episode of Adventure Time had a hidden snail at some point. Interesting. I like long cons like that. Vegetoid. Hi. I just can't talk, dummy. But wait! But I'm talking to you. Ow. You can kill enemies if they're annoying you, but I feel like the game is being very explicit that killing enemies is bad.
Vegetoid is like 80 HP. So what, does that mean I've got to try to do this like 80 times, or what? You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. But if they want to be eaten? Oh, shit. not get any XP for sparing? Like, am I gonna be in trouble for this playthrough if I just keep sparing things? I must go, my people need me. It's a switch. Press it? No. You can win the game at level 1. But if you level up, do you get more XP? Because I'm not sure I will, uh... You're gonna be in trouble if you don't skill as you are. But I'm not gonna have enough HP to be able to make it through the levels if I don't start killing things. You'll get more HP. I better. I better. 20 HP is more than enough. You can see how I'm like dying to uh, fucking Vegetoid though, right? So I don't know if 20 HP is going to be more than enough. You know? That's my concern. Maybe for you it'd be enough. I don't know if I'm pro-gamer enough. Many players would have died by this part? Oh, so never mind, I am a pro-gamer. The bar door is not an exit, and simply marks a rotation in perspective. People die the naps to block? Never mind. I take back everything I said. This is the definitive channel for good gamers. If you can read this, press the blue switch. Okay. I see the stream. <laughs> I see it also by nature of how I play games. I've scared away a lot of new fans today. <laughs> I noticed some, uh, some new fans have already left the stream. Did I get new subscribers? I just, I'm curious. I want to check the count. <laughs> nope. That's really funny. That's fine. I'm still gonna be me. It's a switch. Press it? Yeah. Nothing happened. But wait! Let's set it. Press the blue switch. Nothing like alone time. So does it just sit there not attacking me? Like... Weird, okay. Not scaring away the newbies. I mean, the newbies just gotta be prepared that I wanna talk. Not the switch.
You said to swing your arms. The far door is not an exit. It marks a rotation in perspective. I don't know what that means. That was a hint, but I don't get the hip or the hint. God, I need these random encounters to stop though. If you can read this, press the blue switch. This game is a special boss for the Switch version? Oh, really? Has it been modded into the PC version by chance? So I can play it? Sick of these monsters spawning. Look behind the first pillar. Okay, nothing happened. Oh, I would have, if that was it, dude, I would have never got. It. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I would have, we would be there forever. I would have never figured that out on my own. That would have been the ending point of me playing through this game by <laughs> solo if it wasn't for stream. I would have been like, yeah, okay. That's the gimmick. Luckily that room didn't have a gimmick. The random encounters have to stop. Leave me alone. If you read this, press the green switch. That wasn't it. No fucking way. Why do you get in games? 
Um, did you notice that like moving at a diagonal makes you move faster than like just straight up and down? Why is that? We have that. Just between you and me. I saw Toriel came come out of here just a while ago. She was carrying groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her. Why? Wait a minute. Why? Hang on one second. Pulled up and down against the wall. Okay. One saga. You're not going faster, you're walking less distance. Oh, maybe it's just an optical illusion for me. You'll definitely meet Sans Undertale before the night is up. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, I like to take my time playing games. I'm obviously, from anyone who's been watching the channel for years, I'm not a big speedrunner kind of guy. I like to take my time, I like to ask questions, I like to talk to NPCs. Same dialogue. You found a toy knife. Me. I would tell you the speedrun's already done. Well, I would imagine so. I would imagine my speedrun has already failed, yes. Lost any thought about this being a single stream after that? Yeah, I mean, come on, you guys know who I am. You guys had to know this wasn't going to be done in a single stream. Come on now. It took me like what, 130 hours to play through Persona 3 Reload? Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. Plus, you got to think about if I read all the dialogue, that is also just going to inflate the time for the game as well because obviously you can read in your head much faster than reading out loud i had hopes to be honest why and you're not gonna be able to make it to the stream tomorrow do you not want to watch more undertale content Benefit. i mean i can always just stream a long time how did you get here my child are you hurt i'm very i will heal you I should not have left you alone for so long. That's true, I waited and I waited and you just didn't come back. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Ugh. Well, I suppose I can't hide it any longer. Come, small one. Every time this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. How do I know that? I haven't seen it grow any leaves. I don't know that for sure. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. What if I stream until 3 a.m.? Oh, I'm not doing that. I It's been a long work week for me, and technically, you know, I just got off work but right before the stream started. Um, I'll probably go for another three hours, four hours. Depending on as long as chat's willing to partake. Um. Sorry. I put in. I ate the crackers and the dialogue was still going. 12 hours, mayhaps? No. I will not put 12 hours. It's almost 3 a.m. your time zone? That's wild. He 
Do you smell that? Surprise? It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. Would that be good? I don't know if that would, good, would be good. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. Why is she being so nice to me? I want you to have a nice time living here. Why do I have to live here? I kind of feel like I'm being kidnapped. So I'll hold off on snail pie for tonight. I have another surprise for you. Also, where'd she get those groceries? This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Why is she patting my head? Is something burning? Uh, um, make yourself at home. You've seen this type of plant before, but don't know its name. Oh, this is definitely classic, like, Game Boy Color room. You're not being kidnapped if you're the one who jumped down. Well, I jumped down into the hole, but now she's taking me to her house. Like, I'm being taken by to her house, therefore a kidnapping. A box of kids' shoes and a disparity of sizes. Alright, so for me, if I'm playing this as a mystery kind of game... There just being lots of kids' shoes is unnerving. An empty photo frame. It's dusty. I would not be like, oh boy! <laughs> she already has shoes for me! I would be like... Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you. Alright, I made myself at home. Embrace the goat, mommy. I'm kind of, I'm feeling kind of unnerved by her. Hello there, little one. The pie has not cooled down yet, because you burnt it. Perhaps you should take a nap. You told me to go sleep in the bed? Alright, fine, I'll go nap. Sweet dreams. The fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You can put your hand inside. Nope, that seems dangerous. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further humans' attacks, we retreated. Far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he's pretty lousy at names. Hey, I'm also pretty bad at, lame, uh, at names, that's not... The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. Okay, so... Maybe I, I feel like this game lends itself to theorizing, so maybe you don't need to, um... Don't spoil me or confirm if I'm right or not, but just so I can get my thought process out there. As you guys always know, I'm always trying to figure out the plot of the game before it happens. So, I mean, we're only a couple minutes in here, really. Well, I've been streaming for almost two hours, but realistically, we're only a couple minutes into the story. My guess is that she is getting, or taking us in, because humans created this barrier for monsters. And so she's thinking... If she raises us to be friendly with the monsters, or to believe that the monsters are good, or to be sympathetic with the monsters, um, she can convince us to do away with the barrier. Like, that's, I think, gonna be my theory for now. I mean, I, we'll have to talk to her a little bit more, see... Well, you know, what's her under... But I am... What, like, what's her... The methods behind her madness? But I'm curious. Do you think the monsters are good? I haven't had a chance to talk to any of the monsters. Who knows? I'm sure there's some... I'm sure there's some good, some bad on both sides, you know? <laughs> um, 
but yeah, that's where I'm gonna. I, I uh, that's my current theory. We'll have to like. Obviously, we'll be able to piece more together as we have more information because we really have just only talked to tutorial. Um, that's the beginning of the theory. Check out the planets in the hallway. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and broken crayons. Yeah, so there's lots of other kid stuff in here. It's you. Room under renovations. Yeah, there's so many other, like, kid things in here, like lots of toys, broken crayons and stuff. Tutorial's diary. Read the circled passage. That's kind of rude. I don't want to, like, read her stuff. Encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typa, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods, known more commonly as water sausages. You peek inside. Scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. <laughs> Very scandalous. I'm sure there are whole categories of the internet for that. The cactus, the most sundary of plants. I don't know if this kid would be thinking that. Definitely bigger than a twin-sized bed. Just a regular old bucket of snails. What? Should we read her diary? What do you guys think? But yeah, I think I'm, I'm pretty excited to theory craft uh, for this game as we go. I'll probably keep uh, letting you guys know. Um, sorry, I'm really hungry. I didn't eat dinner so I could do the stream. <laughs> so, I'm just trying to eat some crackers so I'm not starving. Theory crafting for this game is so popular that people are still doing it to this day. Well, I just mean theory crafting in the sense of like trying to piece together the story as we're playing. I'm not going to create new theories for, like, origins of the characters and stuff, but I do love trying to guess the story while I'm playing through a game. And long-time viewers of the chat will know I'm pretty good at guess getting the story. And that's something I get it every time, but I've got a pretty high success rate on this channel for guessing game stories. What's the diary? Why did that skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. The rest of the passage is filled with jokes of similar caliber. The story will throw you for a loop. I mean, that's fine. That's fun. That's what makes it all the more fun to try and guess what the story is when it's getting wild and crazy. Oh, she left me a piece of pie. Nom 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 nom. Alright, I have my little nap. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. Oh wait, sorry, yeah. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spots. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. Oh, it's the brainwashing! You guessed uh, Persona 5 relatively really well? Yeah, I also guessed um, Persona 4 really well, too. There wasn't really much to guess in Persona 3. I also, I guessed the plot of all the Danganronpa games, uh, the Zero Escape games, um, I have I've pretty, I have a pretty high track record of getting the plots together, because I've mentioned before, like, 
I used to be a really big, like, and I, I mean, obviously I still am, but like, mystery and horror buff. So I, I'm usually always looking for the plot twists and like little details and stuff. Did you guess the Persona Q games? Uh, one, yes. Two, I didn't get far enough to... <laughs> I didn't get far enough to really guess. What other games have I gotten the plot predicted right? Chat? You did philosophy in uni? Uh, no, psychology. Close. But it usually helps me, it still usually helps me kind of, like, understand, like, where writers are trying to misdirect and lead you. Because I get into the mind, you know? I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, Somnium Files. Um, I had to get, yeah, Chaos, um, Chaos Head. In the visual novels, Steins Gate. Every time you mention Danganronpa, it makes me want to replay the whole franchise. You know what you can do instead, Final Fighter? You could just watch my playthrough, because I've streamed every Danganronpa game on this channel. That way you can replay the game and experience my reactions to seeing things for the first time. subtle plug. Um, also, I guessed, I got every single trial right across every Danganronpa game except two. There are only two I got wrong. Couldn't get the Final Fantasy VII remake right. The Dementors got in the way. That's true. I didn't get Final Fantasy VII remakes because no, I, at no point did I have any idea what the fuck was going on in that game. Which two? Um, I missed one in Danganronpa 2, the, um, 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 um uh, the, the strawberry grape tower case, to not spoil things. Um, and then in 3, I missed the first one, on a technicality if you really think about it, but... You're studying Psych 2? Nice, Ace. It's really fun. Doing You're doing computer games? Like you're doing like computer programming in college? That sounds stressful, but best of luck. I also, I did solve the plot for every Nintendogs game. Big Nintendogs gamer. The plot is Nintendo trying to capitalize on the casual market. And the answer was not Nintendogs. <laughs> it was Animal Crossing. <laughs> Almost. Good prototype. Anyway, this may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Why do you keep saying that? I'm super suspicious of this character, by the way. Did you want something? What is it? Nothing. Well, talk to me again if you need anything. Alright, uh, for Alpha, we're gonna go back and look at the plants in the hallway. Oh. It's a water sausage. Oh. It's a poop. Inside the door. Okay. That's it? <laughs> we did that for that? Reported. I feel like I, because this isn't my house, I feel like I shouldn't be exploring. I'm tempted to go downstairs, but I feel like it'll make Toriel mad. Um, can I wander in here? There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Gross. For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Wait, why would that be for some reason? Cupboards are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. 
your red moss. Oh, I get it. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. That has never happened before, literally ever. The stove stop is clean. Toriel must use fire magic. Hmm. Do you want to hear about the book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. What? How about it? Sure. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails talk really slowly? Just kidding. Snails don't talk. Interesting. Yeah. Well, bother me if you need anything else. What is it? What did you say to do? Hold up and down against the wall. <laughs> Alright, let's check out the basement. We're gonna see like the bodies of corpses and stuff in here. Oh! I think you should play upstairs instead! Yep, <laughs> I knew she'd get mad! <laughs> There's fucking bodies down there! I assume everyone must get kind of suspicious of this tutorial lady, right? How do I leave? I have to do something. Stay here. Seems like the right size for tutorial. How can you get out of there? Well, we're not. We're supposed to wait here now. Apparently, I'm suddenly a good boy. Undertale's code is held with strings and tape, so that's why the movement quirk happens. It's funny. You were also uh, suspicious of her Godot? You thought she was epic and cool. I'm very big time suspicious of her. How dare you distrust her? That's mommy. <laughs> I mean, listen, lots of things are mommy. This game is mostly made by one person. Yeah, I mean, I'm not judging. I don't care. Or I'm not, like, upset that there's a coding error. Um, how, what's the wait timer on this one, by the way? A body has been discovered. That's kind of what I was thinking would happen. Time to go to the Mystery Labyrinth. Oh, fuck. Don't remind me about the goddamn Mystery Labyrinth. Another game I predicted the plot of. By the way. There isn't, but she said to wait here. I was specifically instructed. Mystery Labyrinth, that's the Detective Rain Code thing. The, uh, like, sister series to, uh, Master Detective Archives Rain Code. I forget the full title of the game, but it's like a spiritual successor to Danganronpa. I streamed that. You heard it was mid? Yeah, it was. But I, you can watch my playthrough of it. It was a Switch exclusive. Uh, I remember just saying I was gonna, like, stream the DLC for that game, but then no one came to the stream and really, <laughs> so I didn't bother. It was just Jade and Alpha. You were there, right? No, you were playing through the game. Um, Taku. You did stream the DLC? No, I didn't. What? Nix oh yeah, Nix was there, that's right. 
I miss Nyx. Remember when he came to streams? Good times. I uh, watched you play the last one. Nope. Never streamed the DLC. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. You need to play the Danganronpa Beach game. You know, when I bought I bought the special edition Danganronpa for the Switch, and then yeah, I never played the Danganronpa Beach game or whatever. Was that any good or was that just a waste of time? Whatever came with the Switch uh, exclusive edition or whatever. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Be a good child and go upstairs. Yeah, that's fucking... Ooh. What happens if I just go upstairs? Well, no. He did the exact same thing, like bought the collector's edition and then just didn't play it, uh, Taku, because yeah, I didn't either. It's not good? Okay, then I won't change it, or then I won't play it. We'll just look up all the uh, Danganronpa Beach Girl DLC <laughs> pictures. I could have sworn I watched you do the last DLC. I promise you I did not do any of the DLCs. It's not like you missed anything. The DLC should have been cheaper, yeah. Okay, so I guess we... Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. Here we go. She's about to be creepy. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they... Asgore? <laughs> will kill you. I'm only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. I know that's how you say it, Alpha, but I thought it was funnier to say that because I am peak comedy. Um, what happens if I do go to my room? I guess this is just my new life. Or does it not do anything? Is she just like still waiting down there? No secret ending? Oh, so you do have to. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. What? You had all the time in the world to get back out of this tunnel and just fucking make me another pie or something. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You're just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you're strong enough to survive. Tutorial blocks the way. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Try to think of something to say, but mommy. Holy fuck.
ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation. <laughs> I literally don't know how you're even supposed to do this. Wait, what'd she say? Oh, okay. What are you doing? me or leave. Is QI about to accidentally win this fight the right way? What do you mean? Accidentally, bro. There, yeah, there's some big brain going on in here every once in a while. I know we goof around, but I, uh, I can, I piece things together every once in a while. Most people just give it up trying to figure it out. Yeah, I mean, I know I, I goof around on this streams a lot to be funny, but I, I, I got a brain cell or two cooking in there. Go away. game was testing you. Oh, I actually really didn't even think about the frog's message. I just kind of assumed, like, because she was supposedly so nice and motherly that she would kind of refuse to kill us. She takes a deep breath. The game knows if you reload? Oh, no way. I know you want to go home, but... Please, go upstairs. I promise I'll take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... I mean, she has pie. That's quite a bit. We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. I mean, I'll be fine. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child... I'll put them aside. But you can, like, come with me. Be a party member. Let's uh, let this be an RPG. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. What's up with the hug? Goodbye, my child. Why does she refuse to leave the ruins? Backtrack to the first room of the game for an easter egg? No. <laughs> no way. I'm not doing that. Or all the bodies she was hiding? Yeah, I don't know. 
I don't know why she's just like weirdly motherly, I suppose. Can I sleep in the bed real quick now to get health back? Please, wake up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Okay, so maybe I was kind of right? That she is kind of hoping we'll like save the or unite the two, be the connecting force. I so I was still kind of in the shooting up the right alley. She was speaking, she saw a bunch of humans die. No, I understood that part. Yeah, she was saying, like, there's monsters out here that'll kill you. Oh, should I have spoken to Toriel la one last time? This game is good with lore, not like FNAF. <laughs> I mean, I imagine for it to have had so much staying power for so many people to still be interested in watching playthroughs of the game this late. Um, it must have a good story and good characters that people like us get attached to. Talk to her, please. Why are you so attached to her? Oh, so she went back to the first room. Oh, because she's waiting for the next... Um, she's waiting for the next human to drop down, I see. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm not going back. <laughs> I'm not doing that. This game, my playthrough will take long enough without me going all the way back. I see. So yeah, she's waiting for the next human to fall or something. She just wants a little pet. She wants a pet human, I see. That's all we are to her. Very clever. That voice in the bed wasn't Toriel's. Oh, yeah, I kind of assumed. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you're able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. No. I mean, I feel good about figuring it out on the first try, but I don't really care. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die. Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it? I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan- Oh, am I destined to rule? Oh, because humans are so powerful? Ooh. My plan isn't registered. This is so much more interesting. Okay, good talk. Why is the flower just waiting outside Toriel's house? I like the fade to white, like when you leave the fallout, uh, when you leave the fallout vault for the first time. By Toby Fox. Dun 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 dun. dun. Ominous. Looks like I'm just going deeper into 
trouble. <gasps> Someone's following me! I've only been in the forest for a couple seconds and I'm already getting chased. Who could that be? Undertale came to be after a fever dream Toby had, where he saw the ending to a game, an ending he felt he had to make. Wow, okay. I wish my fever dreams were that cool. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. The old whoopee cushion and the hand trick. I kind of thought that was supposed to be like, because he's a skeleton, there were like bugs and stuff flying around him. The song is used by many YouTubers. Yeah, I recognize this now. I didn't know this was Undertale. I also recognize that typing sound. It's always funny. You're a human, right? This noise reminds me of, like, those Banjo-Kazooie text things. Hey, Bob, what's up, man? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on Watch for Humans right now. Well, you're doing a great job, Sans. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anyone. Now my brother, the Pyrus. He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, find that conveniently shaped lamp. <laughs> Sup, bro. You know what? Sup, brother. I actually haven't heard his text uh, name before. It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. His text noise is more, uh, more annoying than Sans's, though, so I think I get why. This must be his theme. Papyrus. Sans and Papyrus are named after fonts. Oh, that's clever. Why, though? Is it like the Dragon Ball naming convention where all characters are named after some type of thing? You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I'm gonna be ready. I'll be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. Okay, so humans are definitely the key to opening the, like, the barrier on this, like, underground lair the monsters are trapped in. That's why they want to capture a human so bad. That, I think we can settle on that. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard! People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in the shower of kisses every morning. Uh, maybe this lamp will help you. Dude, Sans is trying to sell me out, bro. Sans, you're not helping, you lazy bones. 
And all you do is sit and boondoggle. You'll get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've got a ton of work done today. A skeleton. Live Q by reaction, yeah. <sighs> Alright. Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it! Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. This was hilarious ten years ago, was it? Down to the bone. I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. Wait, how come it didn't zoom in on him? Does it only zoom in on Ness? Or <laughs> Sans? Okay, you can come out now. No, you tried to set me up, Sans. There are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. No, you kept telling him to check out the lamp. I don't trust you, bro. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, then I have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. What's the hold up? Look, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a dark cavern filled with skeletons and horrible monsters. Well... You ought to get going. What if Sansa Gutskied himself? Now uh, you can't hide behind the lamp perfectly again. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. I get the feel, I don't know, Sans' demeanor, I know he's just like a pixel art, but he he gives me the the vibe that he sounds very, like, shady. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Wait, but you went the wrong way to be up ahead. Alright, never mind. I was gonna say, let's keep going back to look for him, but now I don't feel like it. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Okay. Sans reminds me of Tanaka. Yeah, I was thinking, like, I do get Tanaka vibes from him. Oh, monsters are back. This is a big boy. This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, Box Lover. Everyone said that the pie was a good item to hang on to, so we'll put the, the pie in the box for now, and then I'll get a tough glove. 
instead. What does the tough glove do? Info. Tough glove, weapon attack 5. A worn pink leather glove for five-fingered folk. People make San sound like he's from Boston and Iris like Skeletor. That's funny. Toriel! How's it going? Nobody picked up. Oh. Why is she so sad? It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. He decided not to call. That's not true, I'd call. I would call. Why would I decide not to call? Can you? No, you can't. At least I don't think. I almost want to assume because this game is like 10 years old, that's supposed to be a reference to that like Call Me Maybe song. So, as I was saying about Undyne... Sans! Oh my god, is that... a human? I specifically went down here and hid. Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. Oh. Hey. What's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! I is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! Undyne will... I'm gonna... I'll be so... Popular! Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You'll be delivered to the capital. Then. Yeah, I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue if you dare. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Wait, where'd the rock go? They clearly mean Mario and Luigi. I think it's more like Wario and Waluigi that they're like. Ring ring. Hey. Is your refrigerator running? Yes. Nice. I'll be over to deposit the brewskis. Click. Thanks. That's my save-dependent Easter egg. <laughs> That's it? That's what I got? I am going to compliment the ice camp. My hat's too loud for me to hear you. The fuck with that man? Too bad. Oh. I just have also wants a hat for its nose. Who doesn't know I've got a cool hat, bro? Ow. Alright, I'm over this. Goodbye.
No moving. Did something move? I can't, was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. Something was moving. For example, a human. I'll make sure it never moves again. Doggo. Easily excited by movement. Hobbies include squirrels. Don't move an inch. I can't seem to find it. Will it move this time? What is the barrier for, like, a threshold on being able to, like, see by movement, you know? Like, what does that mean? Like, if you go, is it gonna see just your finger? Hey, Metaton. Welcome to the stream, man. Is there anything that, is that just a thing in fiction, or are there some things that really only can see, like, shifting movement? Is it the lack of the ability to distinguish in, within your depth perception? If you equipped another weapon, you can use the stick in battle to immediately be able to spare all dog enemies. <laughs> They're animals that have a hard time perceiving what isn't moving. But how? Pet him, but then I move, Starkiller. I'm explicitly violating his instructions. Use the mercy we just did. Blue projectiles don't move, or don't damage if you don't move. Yeah, I, I mean, I gathered that. Alright, fine, we'll pet him. You pet Doggo. What? He has been pet. But wait, doesn't that... He's been... I, 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 I'd have to move to pet him, right? S -s -s Something pet me. Something that isn't m moving. <laughs> yeah, I know it's... it's de the doggo thing definitely dates this game quite a bit. You're not wrong. He couldn't see you because you didn't take damage to his attack. Really? Okay. I feel like that's kind of a loophole, but... I'm gonna need some dog treats! Hello, ding 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 ding! Anybody there? No. Someone's been smoking dog treats? I was gonna pick the dog treats up and give him some, but okay. Hello, we were blazing up that good-ish dog treats. The gimmick is so that since you didn't take damage because you didn't move, you could pet him. But can't you, if you, to pet, you have to move. something important to remember. My brother is a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. 
simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. It's just showing random colors. Because <laughs> that was yellow. Oh, it's the fucking Pokemon Ice Puzzle, bro. I hate this. Huh. Lesser dog. Hello. I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, Traveler, please. Take a piece of me and bring it far away. Sure. You got the snowman piece. Neat. You're so lazy! <clears throat> you were napping all night! It's called... Sleeping. Excuses, excuses! Oh ho ho! The human arrives! In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles! I think you'll find this one quite shocking! what it is, but doing that voice for Papyrus is really, like, drying my throat out. I feel like I can normally do that voice pretty good. <clears throat> for you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. <laughs> Jesus bless you, thank you. I am becoming a dry skeleton. Sounds like fun? Because the amount of fun you'll probably have is actually rather small, I think. Alright, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Hold this, please. Okay, try now. Incredible, you slippery snail. You soft it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will be not so easy. It is designed by my brother Sans. He'll surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> okay, bud. Didn't he just say Sans is like lazy and good for nothing? So why is he so confident in his brother's puzzle? Hey. Uh, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, see that weird outfit he's wearing? He made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. I'm just calling it his battle body. Man. Isn't my brother cool? Okay. I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. No, a customer. Would you like some nice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now, just 15 gold. Do I want this? I assume this is just like a health pickup, right? Is this, is this something truly desirable? Save your money. Yeah, that's. I kind of was leaning towards save my money. Like, I already have, like, decent healing items. So I should be okay, right? You should get one, it's heals. Oh, really? Now we're torn, chat. 
There's gags tied to everything, but better healing items that cost money will come soon. Please try Glam Burger. This is a spoiler. Well, don't spoil things then. What? <laughs> huh? If you buy this, he shows up later. Alright, fine. I got the nice cream. Tell your friends there's an ice cream out in the middle of the woods. <laughs> yeah. Hey, friends, you should go walk into the middle of the forest. It's the Minecraft orb. I'm probably supposed to get... Oh, am I supposed to get this in the hole? Oh, do you have a time limit to get this down there? Oh, no, thank you. I will probably never have the patience to do this. Just kidding. Wait, maybe. No! Do you have to do this or no? It feels like this would be easier with a joystick, not the fucking arrow keys like I'm doing this with. Set this one. I'm making it worse. Why does it always go on an angle? Sounds is there? Yeah, I know. But I want to do this puzzle thing. Nailed it. Even when you felt trapped, you took notes and achieved the end of the ball. You were awarded two gold. There's a camera hidden inside the snow. Is, did it take a, a shot of my montage? It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow decahedron. Thinking about selling treats too. On some fried snow. It's just five gold. Bye. Huh? Sure. I say 5G. I meant 50G. Oh, no. You're right. That's still too low. should charge more than that, but then why would- I wouldn't buy it. More dogs. Smell danger rating. Snow smell. Snowman. White rating can become yellow rating. What? His. Uh, cute, I guess. I thought the game crashed for a second there when I ran up me. Uh, I got stuck on just the snowball. Human! I hope you're ready for it. Sans! Where's the puzzle? 
right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. I like that we're just, like, playing games with these guys. Oh, he's right, I can't get past this. Monster Kids Word Search. Hey kids, can you help me solve this puzzle? Can I actually, like, do it, though? Can you do this? Because, like, I can see some of these words. So, like, okay. Monsters here. Um, cigars is here. Okay, so we got monster cigars. Flash is from Uh It's the top row there. Um, there's hot, down. Okay, so we've completed this row. I got monster. Let's look for skeletons. Which is backwards here. It's unsolvable. I'm doing it, though. Skeletons. Okay. We got that. Now you find mermaid. Because you guys can see my mouse, right? We're doing this. Mermaid is backwards here. Okay. Robot now. Robot. Boom. Okay. We found all these words. Now we just need to follow this, find the seasons. 8 of 12 down. Alright. Where's fall? Sounds totally got you, bro. No, I'm... I'm solving the thing. Where is fall? Alright, let's switch it out. Let's look for winter. Oh, the season's not in here? Damn. Oh, you did find winter? Okay, so they are here. Then. Damn, I'm falling off. I was doing pretty good. Now you guys are all finding all the seasons before me. You should stream word searches more often? I would. If there is there like a word search game on Steam? Hang on. Let me look for that real quick.
Sorry about that. I am back. Alright, so... Now we get out of this screen. I solved it. That didn't do anything! Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? I can't believe you said that! In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. Huh? Really? Dude? That easy peasy word scramble? That's for baby bones. Unbelievable. <coughs> ah, you're back. Thanks, chat. Human, solve this dispute. Which is harder? Jumble? I actually didn't even mean to agree. I wanted to... Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Human must be very intelligent. They also find Junior Jumble so difficult. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry, Sans. Your brother's just... I gotta agree with him, because I feel like he'll freak out, and you won't. Thanks for saying Junior Jumble just to appease my brother. See, he knew. He gets it. Yesterday, he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. <laughs> I That reminds me of, like, it feels like that's almost the origin of the meme. I know it's not, but, like, that meme that's like... Thanks for not doing obnoxious thing. I know it took you a lot of restraint to not do that. <laughs> it's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy spaghetti. Little do you know, this spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it, you won't realize you aren't progressing. Thoroughly shaped <laughs> again by the Great Papyrus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to add Japed to my vernacular. Nothing. Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti fills you with determination. It's an unplugged microwave. All of the settings say, SPAGHETTI! It's so cold it got stuck to the table. Oh, I get it, because they don't want to have another animation, or like another sprite of the food being gone. All the food's always stuck to the table. I see. I don't know why, but randomly, <laughs> the uh, that old thing, SOMEBODY TOUCHING MY SPAGHETTI, <laughs> just came back to me. Warning, dog marriage. Gross. Thank you for the trigger warning. I was doing good at this, and then I, like, lost the rhythm here. Hang on. You don't think I can get it much clearer? You understand. I am compelled to find the image.
<laughs> there we go. Just in case you wanted to know what this looked like completely, you're welcome. You missed a spot? I'm working on it. Hang on. What do you mean? Okay, the game literally won't let these last P3 pieces go away. Bamboozled. Oh wait, maybe? Perfect. Nah, you don't have homework to finish. It's the weekend, bro. You're fine. Yeah, I didn't hear an actual click noise, though. Reread the sign. Yes, you read that correctly. What's that smell? Where is that smell? If you're a smell, identify yourself. Hmm. Here's that weird smell. Makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you. Doggy. Assault here. Pet the doggos. They're too suspicious of your spell. That's not your husband, okay? Oh, can you just not avoid that? The dogs are saying sickly sweet things to each other. Uh... If they're suspicious of my smell, I guess I gotta get the smell off me. How do you avoid that? I got hit in the end. Fuck. Wait, what do you mean, what about you? Dog's minds have been expanded. Eh, yeah, nice. Dogs can pet other dogs? A new world has been opened. Thanks, weird puppy. I am dying. 
Turn every X into a zero, then press the switch. What? How'd you avoid the trap? More importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell Papyrus about his spaghetti? Yeah. Really? Wow. You resisted the flavor of my home-cooked pasta. Just so you could share with me? Fret not, human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Uh, really, the only kind of pasta I want is mac and cheese. If there ain't no cheese, I don't want it. <laughs> My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. <laughs> Want to guess what's Papyrus' favorite food? I'm going to guess it's... <laughs> well... <laughs> what is all the... I was going to say it's spaghetti. What is all the spaghetti talk making you want brownies for, Hunchy? I don't get the connection. Human! Hmm. How do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle. By arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And, as usual, my brother is my lazy brother's nowhere around. I suppose what I'm saying is, worry not, human! I, the great papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. Double hit it, in. okay. No, that's not it either. There's a way to cheese this puzzle. Wow, you solved it! You did it without my help! Incredible! I'm impressed! <laughs> How I feel chat uh, feels about me doing anything on stream without their help. You must care about puzzles like I do! Well, I'm sure you'll love the next one. It might even be too easy for you. <laughs> Dudes just wanted someone to play with his puzzles with him. Good job on solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help. 
Which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. There's a secret lever that solves the puzzle for you? That's funny. Hey! It's the human! You're gonna love this! It was made by the great Dr. Alfs. Al Alfs? Do you see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, we get to change color. Each color is a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you'll have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. Oh, that's nice. They'll make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap <laughs> smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How is that? Understand? Yeah. Great. There's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it'll make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. <laughs> Get ready. RNG boys. Forever lucky. Wait, but I thought pink tiles didn't do anything. Oh, okay. I was just saying, it wasn't letting me move. Actually, that spaghetti from earlier. It wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. Better he keeps it up. Next year, he'll even make something edible. This dog is staring blankly into the snow, waiting for it to turn into art. Same food. On the floor inside is a box. Palmer raisins? What the fuck is that? Aware of dog, please pet the dog. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought, Alpha. Knowing that dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog fills you with determination. A dog considers itself an artist, but doesn't ever know what to create. It probably doesn't help that it's brain the size of a piece of kibble. Kind of rude of you, TBH. No! Don't do this to me. Don't be the Pokemon Ice Puzzle. Is that there are fates worse than death, and they involve having to do the Pokemon Ice Puzzles. Okay, thank God. Alright, there are individual snowmen. Oh no, I actually have to do it? No. Surely not. I most definitely do not have this, by the way.
Just for everyone's forewarning. Oh, you can go diagonal like that? Okay, never mind. Maybe I do have this. Oh, come on. I got a little, I got a little too freaky with it. Why did it make it seem like that was so ominous? That's one way to solve it. Easy, bro. The solution does not call for diagonals. We make our own solutions here. On this channel. That's why they call me the Puzzle Master. If you got, get to Hotland, I'll give a super thanks. I assume that's an area in the game. These are all snow puffs. Which one's not, though? It's missile. Oh. Wait, why is he too far away to pet? Is this the Nyan Cat remix? Alright, well, if he's too far away, come to me. Oh! He pulled a fast one on me. All right, medicine, you gotta kind of, you gotta relax on the telling me what to do here. For the, uh, let me, uh, for some of these. I'll ask if I can't figure it out. This excitement is creating a power field that prevents petting. He inches closer, the zoom is kind of funny. Alright, now we play. How the dog is tired. God! He wants some TLC. Now I pet. 
But you still haven't pet enough. Pet capacity is at 40%. I am, I am so not good at this. Dog is contented. Okay. I had to eat the snow piece, so I hope that I didn't actually need to take that snow piece very far like the snowman asked for me. How is he controlling that suit of armor? Hey, Neku. Uh, yeah, this is actually wave one of the DLC for Persona 3 Reload. Human is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold a gauntlet of deadly terror. Hey, it's that dog. When I say the word, it will activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will violently swing up and down. Only the teeniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because... I am about to do it. I'm going to do it. <coughs> well, what's a hold up? What hold up? I, I'm about to activate it now. That uh, doesn't look very activated. Well. This challenge, it seems maybe too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. Well, I'm a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. Let him cook. But this method is too direct. No class. Away it goes. Whew. Saved it. What are you looking at? Another decisive victory for Papyrus. Indeed. Yeah! 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 You see why people use this Kalatura voice? I do, yeah. I don't know what my brother's gonna do now. If I were you, make sure I understand blue attacks. Yeah, I understand him. I'm just not good at him. Welcome to Snowed Inn. Wow. Well, the sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. It's the item box. Hello, Traveler. How can I help you? Yeah, bicycle sounds like the way to go. Although, I would like that manly bandana. Sell something? Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know how it works where you come from, but if I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business. If you equip the bandana, you can't run away, guaranteed. Oh, never mind then. Too bad, so sad.
you recommend talking to her? Sure. Bandana would be good for bosses. There you go. That's the right uh, idea, gamer. That's what I'll do. We'll save. We'll switch before bosses. Huh. Tell me about the town's history. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowdon. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door has been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget it. What do you do here? Scribbly says food, and the library is info. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town's gotten a lot more interesting since then. Oh, hello, by the way. Welcome. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where'd you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. You here by yourself? Tell me about your life. Same as usual. A little claustrophobic. But we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's that? One night is 80G. You're insane! Highway robbery! How is there snow in the cave? An excellent question. Isn't my little cinnamon the cutest? Bun buns are adorable, tee hee. This guy looks so blood jank. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Bun 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 bun. Some awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make them feel better. Now, it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. She's walking a rabbit on a leash, her son. Yeah, she's got- it's just one of those, like, child leashes, that's all. Don't need to judge her for it. I don't know why he's so disturbed by it. Yeah, he's just like, hey. Uh, just let him escort, you know what I mean? What is this thing? Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. It's almost Christmas, everyone. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. Guys, these don't look like monsters at all. I think they're misunderstood. This town doesn't have a mayor. So it's not Animal Crossing, then? But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. What? Hey, it's all the bosses I've fought so far. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, same people. I want new drinks and <laughs> hot guys! Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. When you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. It's definitely disgusting. 
The capital's getting pretty crowded. <sighs> I heard they're gonna start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some city slickers slip under their butts. The jukebox is broken. Real busy said he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. <laughs> Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everyone who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. He was the guy who left the uh, fishing rod on the ground earlier then. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. Oh, thanks. I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, Attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. Better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump onto your lap and give you lots of love and attention. We're centuries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. Everyone's always laughing and cracking jokes. Sorry to forget our modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Thanks, Devil Man. Do we just talk with everyone, or what? Welcome to the library. Yes, we know, the sign is misspelled. And look in your eye. There's someone that is difficulty solving Junior Jumble, aren't you? Oh shit. Sorry, dude. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it in with comics and games. Cough. When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Oh, there's monster propaganda down here, I see. I'll read that out loud for chat, hang on. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of a soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things. I can't read that one. Monster History Part 4. Oh, reading this in the wrong order. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that. Uh, am I at the page of yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. Toby Fox. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. 
Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. Because they're made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks hurt. Therefore, the being with a powerful soul struck their desire struck with the desire to kill. Um, let's end the chapter. Monster History Part 4. Fearing humans no longer, we moved out of our old city home. We braved harsh cold, damp swampland, and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital, New Hope. Again, our king is really bad at names. Let's play Monsters and Humans. No oh, thanks. To be young again, the world sure felt bounteous. You're gonna make me human again, are you? What a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. My patience rewards me. Chat, who's at your door? Music sounds like something intense is happening there, but... Okay. I've never seen this screen before. Dude, I've been looking around all over the place, man. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread Jeff. There's all kinds of new things in my place. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Look inside. It's empty. This is the skeleton's house. It's locked. Oh. This doesn't seem good. Human. Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a school, the, 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 the how do you read words? The desire to have a cool, smart person think you're cool. These feelings, they must be what you're feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I'm very great. I don't ever wonder about having lots of friends. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not. You shall be lonely no longer. I, the great Papyrus, will be your... No. No, this is wrong. I can't be your friend. You're a human! I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Papyrus blocks the way. He likes to say, nya 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 nya. Nya 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 nya. <laughs> Pop 
Papyrus is rattling his bones. F -f flirting So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I have zero redeeming qualities. <laughs> so am I supposed to answer this truthfully? Or say that I can make spaghetti? I can make it a spaghetti! <gasps> You're meeting all my standards! I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later. The Pyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. You're so skilled at dodging, thank you. Let's date! Dude, I'm pretty good. Papyrus is thinking about cooking. Keeping your cool? Yeah, thank you. I am trying to keep my cool. Alright, so I clearly don't flirt anymore. Papyrus dabs marinara sauce behind his ear? Why don't I just keep doing this, though? It looks like he says funny things every time, though. Mint brand Bishi cream. The virus is mint brand anime powder behind his ear. Alright, I've had enough of that. So he won't fight. Then let's see how you can handle my fabled blue attack. Imagine if you were playing this on the strip of uh, the switch though, that would be very fatal. Oh. You're blue now. Oh. Okay. I was gonna say I was gonna make a joke about Joy-Con drift, but suddenly I gotta do stuff. That's my attack. <laughs> You're blue now. But I don't want gravity. Oh yeah, this is gonna be rough. He's coded not to kill you? Oh, okay. Everyone knows I've created platformers, yes. That's definitely how people define me on this channel. My platforming skills. This song's pretty good, though. Well, I'm not thinking about dates. Good thing there's a moment of me being invincible in there. Pyrus realized he doesn't have ears. I did, yeah, I did beat those Sonic games. Hold up longer to jump higher. Jeez, okay, Sundere. He tricked me. He's rattling his bones. Don't make me use my special attack. You're too weak. I was easily able to capture you. I will now send you to the capture zone. Okay, as Sans calls it. 
our garage. You're in the doghouse. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's just dry food. A squeaky chew toy. They literally just want a human pet, bro. Like, that's what even Tori, uh, Toriel wanted this, too. There's a note from Papyrus. Sorry. I have to lock you in the guest room until Undyne arrives. Is that how you say that name, by the way? I feel like that's wrong. Feel free to make yourself at home. Refreshments and accommodations have been provided. Nyefully yours. Um, okay. That's right? Oh, okay, cool. Goodbye. Oh, where's that human gone? Wait, it's right in front of me. I was worried you'd gotten lost. It sure is a relief to know you're right here. Wait a sec. You're not supposed to escape. Get back there. Oh, wait, was I supposed to just go the other way or something? Please move left and right. No. I can you don't want me to do that. Like <laughs> you I can't I can't have that many axe or going across those axe uh axes. Wait, wait, so we do have to beat him? Because I fear that is not happening. There's a way to make it easier? Yeah, hit me with that. Yeah, see, I really just gotta sit there. This is bad news for later, yeah. Hey, I never claimed to be good at this type of game. So you learn you can short hop. Yeah, I don't think that I don't think that'll do me any good. Like 
Wait, so how do you sleep at the inn for free? You just effectively skip the fight? Yeah, okay. Just pay for it? No. How do I skip the fight? Get me out! This is pay, trust. I want to do Ace's method. <laughs> That's I want to do Ace's method. I don't want to play platforming. <laughs> oh, can I get on the ice cube from here? I'm getting really tired of capturing you. Fight for Papyrus? No. I guess I'll accept my failure. What? I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend quantity will remain stagnant. What did you say? Let's be friends. Really? You wanna be friends? Well then. I guess. I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie! We haven't even had our first date. And I've already managed to hit the friend zone. I knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them. You taught me a lot, human. I grant you permission to pass. I'll give you the directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. That's what I figured. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you'll have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He's... well. He's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Demur. Can I go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool Godzilla. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> Why do you just walk on water? But dun 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 dun. You came back to have a date. You must really be serious. I'm going to take you someplace special. A place I feel like spending a lot of time. My house!
after this date stuff you're heading out? Yeah, I probably won't go too much longer. I'll go for like another hour, I think. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. That's the trash. Feel free to visit it. Interested in my food museum? Please, peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers, all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. What? Catch that meddling canine! Curses. Sans, stop plaguing my life with incidental music! Forget it. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. What? How absurd. There's an empty pie tin inside. What does this do? Well, it started dinging and then I stopped. What's it dinging about? Pretty good hoax to the workout. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. It's got a bunch of loose coins inside. Neat. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down, move it. Okay. You move it two inches. Move it to your room. It's my favorite game show. This is stay tuned for a new program. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. The door is locked. A classic image. It's always reminded me of what's important in life. To bone! The book? It's a joke book. Take a look. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book is another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. That's my room. If you're finished looking around, you can go in and do whatever you'll do in eight days. Dude, his room is so cool. Are these supposed to be like little Pokemon figures? Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it basically just happened. The internet! I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away. From a double-digit follower count. <laughs> of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. Always sending my me bad puns in a goofy font. 
The computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. The next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. <laughs> That's my bed! If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long hallway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead I cruise while I snooze. Yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from... A chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. That's right. Santa! Isn't that flag, Nito? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now I know what you're thinking. How would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. A GAME THEORY! I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Alright, is that everything? Boy, there's a door back there, wasn't there? There are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me sometimes. Look in the closet. Clothes are hung up neatly. Okay. So, um... Have you seen everything? Do you want to start the date? Sure. Okay. Date start. Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. Ready to have a great time! Let's see. Step one Press the C key on your keyboard for the dating hug. Wowie, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two Ask them on a date. Ahem. Human, I, the Great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. R really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandage hanging off you. You're wearing clothing. Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No. Could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning. Yes. No! You planned it all! You're better at dating than I am. No! Your dating power. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating and never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! <laughs> what do you think of my secret style? It's Piccolo! No! A genuine compliment! However, I don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. This whole thing is an Ace Attorney reference? Well, this is a Dragon Ball reference. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further. 
unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. There's no secret to my legs. Oh, just hard work and perseverance. I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. But who doesn't? This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip. All clothing articles can be improved this way. Holding my hand, so I'll tell the answer. No! I must resist. My hat. My hat. My hat! <laughs> yeah. Well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Do you know what this is? Of course. It's my spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, right? Right. But oh so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. <laughs> this is an artesian's work. Silken spaghetti. Finely aged in oak and cast. Cask? Then cooked by me, Master Shit the Pipes. Human! It's time to end this. There's no way this can go further. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scratches out. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ah! Yeah. No! It's clear now. Human, you're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, every time we kiss. It's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um... Boy, is it hot in here or just me? <laughs> oh, shoot. Uh, human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Uh, romantically, I mean. I, I mean, I tried hard. I thought because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. And then on the date, feelings would blossom. I'd be able to match your passion. But alas... I, the Great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. Instead, by dating you, I've only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No. Wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend. And act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, n no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> oh, and if you need to reach me... Here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> Where'd he go, though? Yo, I dated your brother. Oh, sounds is what I'm talking about. You can now call Papyrus in any room in the game? That's kind of crazy. I don't know if we'll do every room, but that's cool. Do, 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 do. Oh, also, after the stream... Um, it doesn't have to be right now, but can someone drop, like, some official Undertale art that I could use for the thumbnail tomorrow? 
most of the stuff I found for Undertale, like for even today's stream, was like all fan art. I didn't really want to use fan art. But it doesn't seem like there's a lot of official art besides just like a black background and sans is pixel like form. So I was hoping someone could find me something like official. No, oh, that's not a pickup, that's just background. Hey, it's that kid again. Yo! You sneaking out to see her too? Awesome, she's the coolest, right? I wanna be just like her. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Found some concept art, does that work? Yeah, maybe. Temi Chang is the artist, and she makes up a good bit of the game, so you can try looking up Temi Chang under chill. Okay, they're the official artist, though, so if I use that, it's not, like, fan art. So, like, if I use that for the thumbnail, I'm not, like, taking someone's thing. Yeah, just uh, DM them to me on uh, Discord or something. Um, flip flip would be good. That would be cool. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Neat, huh? Neat, huh? There's so much phone papyrus dialogue. My brother has a station here. Yeah, he mans two stations at once. Amazing, isn't it? He slacks off twice as much as normal. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Yeah, I might be able to use that, uh... Second one, flip flip. Is that like Undertale recognizable though? But Papyrus probably does have the most dialogue, yeah. Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away. Over here, I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Zans. Yo. Hey. Are you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah. I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. Oops. Watch where you sit. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on their seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? I want a burger. God, I'm hungry. Groovy! I'll have a double order of burg. Because why would I just want fries? So, what do you think? My brother. Yeah, he's cool. Of course he's cool. He'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. He did. Just for me. Oh well, at least he washes it. By that I mean he wears it in the shower. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Yeah, I want ketchup on the burger. Bon appetit. You tip the ketchup. I've been pranked! Too bad I would still eat a burger, even if it was, like, soaked in ketchup like that. I don't care. Yeah, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. 
Anyway. Cool or not. I agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day he went to the house at the head of the Royal Guard. Begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. But then why was he so bad? Unable to kill me. But he was getting warrior training. It's uh, still a work in progress. Oh, I see. Did you fail this fight? Nonsense. I didn't get a game over. Oh, yeah. I wanted to ask you something. heard of a talking flower. Yeah. So you know all about it. The echo flower. Oh. They're all over the marsh. It's something good. And they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, the papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement. Predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on them. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Ooh. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way. I'm broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 gold. Just kidding. Grilby, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. I didn't eat my burg. You high moment? What? Wanting to eat my burg? I'm so hungry now. Man, I forgot to save. <laughs> That's true. That's definitely a cute high moment. You're about a third of the way through the game? Really? I keep going for a little bit longer. I'm starting to get a little tired. Have a good night, uh, Flip Flip. Thanks for the help on the stream and everything. And the thumbnails. I'll be streaming in tomorrow if you still want to hang out, buddy. Hey, Cherry Fizz. What's up? Have fun with the lesbian fish. Okay. And head out. Hey, good to see you again, Alpha. Thanks for stopping by, man. Hope to see you tomorrow if you want to hang out still. I'll be back with more of this game then. You can't use items when they're in the box. A box hater. Oh, I thought I had to, like, try and dodge the... I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Do you like uh, Persona 3 Royal? Yeah, I liked it more than OG. If that's what you're asking. I liked it more than OG. Quite a bit, actually. I think Persona 3 Royal is fantastic. Alright, <laughs> Royal, reload, whatever. Persona re release.
Does he? There's a tutu lying on the ground. Will you take it? You got the old tutu. Ooh. Shady business. See ya, Alpha. Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Uh, did I fight them? Yeah, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them. You see... You see... I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. So jealous. What'd you do to get her attention? <laughs> I was born this way. Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Oh. What bad guys? A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. <gasps> I'm not being filled with determination. What am I going to do when I'm not being filled? When four bridge seeds align in the water, they'll sprout. Huh? Oh, I'm supposed to, like, put them here. Okay. I like the little squeaky toy noise they make when you pick them up. Thought these were gonna be like strength puzzles, yeah. Thank god they're not. I don't I didn't like any I never liked Pokemon puzzles. I don't know what you're talking about, Cherry. Read this sign. The bridge sprout. Oh, does it have to be, like, all four that way, maybe? I now, now that I've spent time committing to this sign, I gotta fucking read it. Where's the sprint option? 
Where's the times two speed that I use with Pokemon emulators? Not that I would play those. What do you mean after all this I can't read the sign? Hello? Oh, okay. Congratulations! You failed the puzzle. God damn it. If an error is made, the Bell Blossom can call Bridge Seeds back to where they started. I got it. Nope, I don't, actually. Hmm. What happened to chat? <laughs> I just looked at the view count. I guess I should have wrapped it up at the last save point. Everyone turning in for the night? I mean, I guess it is getting kind of late. Hmm. Well, once we get out of this cave, then I'll wrap up the stream. left the more iconic parts of the game. Undershell fans have a bedtime. I can, based on how chat was going earlier, uh, I think that may be true. Oh, lots of people unlike the stream, too, I just noticed. I noticed at the beginning of the stream we had double-digit likes, and now we're at seven. Whoops. It's not midnight yet where I'm at. Oh! I figured it out. I didn't know if we could go, if, if I didn't think it would go upriver like that. That was odd. Huh. That was just a random fucking guess. That's funny. Papyrus, let me get this number. It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. Or, because I, you got it from me earlier? What? I called you. So, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a gross bandage. Is it true? Are you wearing a gross bandage? Yeah. So you are wearing a gross bandage. 
Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. Like, what? A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now all we have are those sparkling stones in the ceiling. Wishing room. Interesting that that's the last thing that this flower heard. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. I'm going to clean you. Green means clean. Ah, uh, that's not- I pressed the wrong button. I hate that the prompts don't have, like, logos on them. <laughs> Damn it! I- just because I pressed the wrong button. Ugh. I pressed Z instead of X. Who made the fucking controls for this? Come on, sis, make a wish. I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. Unlikely. Look through the telescope. Check wall. Seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Check wall. Definitely starting to crash a little bit now. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. They would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it's the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body even after death. If a monster defeats a human, it can take its soul. A monster with a human soul. A horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drone. Sure hope there isn't a giant sea monster. Okay, good. Was the play there? You... I honestly thought it was a cutscene or something. What? <laughs> I didn't know I was supposed to do something.
sure hope she doesn't find me in here. She's got him by the eye. Sometimes I feel it's not very clear when you can move again. Did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm never washing my face again. Are you unlucky? You were standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. I certainly hope not. <laughs> Jello. Cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Squeak. <laughs> Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mag magical crystal fills you with a determination. Should we call it there, or should we at least get out of the cave before we end the stream? Hi, Sans. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 gold to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Sure. Huh? You are satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. <laughs> Dick. Maybe we should call it here? I am getting about that time. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Nope. Ice cream man! I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them in for a free one. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Done here, Jade, too? I Maybe mean, we should wrap it up. Are you going to bed? We kind of want to at least get out of the cave. How much is of this is left? A duck! I like the music in here. But I will admit, it's kind of put me to sleep a little bit. You hear a passing conversation. Do you have any wishes to make? You hear a pet. Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. It's a pair of ballet shoes. Sure, I'll take them. I have a tutu and ballet shoes now. I forgot the like almost the full costume setup. Ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about the clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very... murdery. But... I bet you knew that already. Because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A gross bandage. Because I knew, of course, after 
answer such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. <laughs> You're such a smart cookie. This way, you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. You hear? Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. The power to take their souls. This is the power the humans feared. Death. The gummy worms are here! I need to leave. Woo! Hey there! Noticed you were here! I'm Onion Sun! Onion Sun! Okay, goodbye. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here. You'll love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though the water's getting so shallow, I have to sit down all the time, but hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium. Look at my friends. And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though, you hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything. I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Hey, that's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In Waterfall... Okay. The northern room hides a great treasure. I like treasure! There's a piano here. Play it. Is this not a puzzle? Am I just, like, able to play the, the piano? A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. <laughs> this power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. And an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death. If only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but that's never happened. And now it never will. Oh. Ominous. 
It's a statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. Please take one. An umbrella. Lovely. Thanks. Yo, you got an umbrella. Awesome. Let's go. <laughs> They're not under the umbrella with me, though. Red Undyne is so cool. He beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I'd wet the bed every night, knowing she was going to beat me up. Then why is she stuck down here, huh? Doesn't sound that strong to me. So one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. God, I don't care. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. That's a cool screenshot. Oh, it's not a screenshot. It's a... We're still playing. Sometimes I find it difficult to tell when the cutscene starts and gameplay begins. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Hmm. You want to see Undyne, right? Put up your umbrella and climb on my shoulders. Yo, you going ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Okay, now I think I'm going to call it. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly without mercy. I think this is a good save to call it for the night. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful, and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters turned to dust. Yeah, I think now is the good time to call it tonight. The sound of muffled rain on the cave top fills you with determination. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna call it today. Been a good run though. Thanks for hanging out and chatting, everyone. What do I think of the game so far? I think it's interesting so far. I'm very curious to see how the story goes tomorrow, um, and what our choices mean and what different things we've done, all that good stuff. You just came in. Hey, man. Well, I apologize about your timing. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe so you can uh, see more of my Undertale playthrough tomorrow. I'll be back um, hanging out, chatting with everyone. We'll probably beat the, at least the first route tomorrow, and then maybe we'll do uh, some faster runs through another route or something. Now that not, I won't be reacting to newer stuff on another route playthrough, it might be a little bit quicker. We'll see. Uh, that remains tomorrow for us to find out. Thanks again, everyone. Subscribe, hit the bell button, drop a like, all that good stuff to continue watching my first blind playthrough of Undertale. And of course, join my Discord channel to hang out with me while the stream's over. That's it. See you guys tomorrow.